Hi, so this brings us right into combinations. Combinations is very similar to permutations, except order doesn't matter. So something like, I need um, five people to be, to play, you know, frisbee on the, in the park or whatever. Well, does order matter? No, right? You just need five people to play, right? So that's a combination where you still are selecting out of a certain number of choices for a certain number of categories, but the order doesn't matter. So committees, um, mat you know, doesn't the order doesn't matter. Teams usually doesn't matter unless it's captain. And so, um, and then all we do is note that either order doesn't matter and it's always without replacement. So with combinations and permutations are both non-repeating, no repetition, okay? And then all you do is see whether or not it's um, order matters or it doesn't. If the order matters, then you use permutation. And if it doesn't matter, you can use combination. So the key word here would be with combination is that order doesn't matter. But it's still no repetition. You know, it's always without replacement. I wouldn't really use the factorial formula because it can get really involved, especially if you have a thousand choices, six people, you know, and all this stuff. I would definitely use the calculator, that probability menu. And number two is that NCR. Now you could use the factorial fa fraction part and use the factorial, but again, we want to work smarter, not harder. And if something is in our calculator that can calculate it faster and more accurately, then I think we should use that. All right, so let's go ahead and go to our example. So the U U.S. Senate Appropriations Committee consists of 29 members. The Defense Subcommittee of Appropriations consists of 19 members. So there's 29 and then a subcommittee is 19. Disregarding party affiliation or any special seats, how many different 19 member subcommittees could be chosen from 29? So the real question is, I have choices and I'm selecting, right? And also, does order matter? Right, and there's no, um, or I should say without replacement. You can't pick two people for one thing, for and count as two members, right? It's just one person, one member. So it's without replacement. Um, but order, does order matter in a committee? I just need 19 people to sit in a room. No, right? So order doesn't matter. Okay, once we identify, okay, I have a certain number of choices. I'm selecting some, so many out of the choices and I realize it's without replacement, I ask myself, order doesn't matter, it's automatically combinations. So if it's combinations, all we have to identify is the number of choices. I notice I have 29 members to choose from, and I need to select 19, right? These are the categories. Okay, well, it's just going to be 29, choose 19. Go to your calculator, go ahead and hit probability, select two, right? And so, and then the first thing we'll want to do though is put in the number of choices as usual. Probability, now go ahead and choose combinations and choose 19. And see how quick that is? It's like, so nice. So we have 20 million, 30,010 different ways we can make 19 member subcommittees. Okay, but the idea is how would I know the difference, Darlene, from, you know, permutation and combination? Well, you, the goal is the, the red flags are these over here. Right. The first thing that one you'll notice is they'll give you a number of choices, but you're only selecting a certain number from those choices. That's automatically like your brain should click to combination and permutation. And then from there, you say, okay, this is without repetition, 
right? Unlike up here, remember it wasn't because it was with repetition of letters. So it wasn't a permutation or a combination because it had repetition. It was with replacement, right? But if it's without replacement and then order doesn't matter, then we know it's a combination. If, and order mattering is going to be obvious. It's going to be president, vice president, treasury, right? First, second, third, gold, bronze, um, silver. No, gold, silver, bronze. <laughs> and then passwords. It matters, right? Characters have to be in a certain order. So things that have to have a certain order are automatically going to be pushed to permutation. And then with combination, it's going to be without any sort of order.